Thrilling, exhilarating, excitement, Premier League football personified this afternoon. An absolutely barnstorming, incredible football match to end the weekend games. Advantage Arsenal, who now sit top of the English Premier League with City failing to capitalise on a depleted Liverpool team. After taking the lead, there is some controversy to speak about in this game as well. Should City's goal have been disallowed for Ake blocking McAllister in the same way that Liverpool had a goal disallowed during the Carabao Cup final? Consistency is what we ask for. We will be discussing that. And should, should there have been a last minute penalty last second penalty when Doku lifts his leg he does slightly touch the ball but he follows through and he studs McAllister in the chest he studs McAllister in the chest with his follow through yes it was accidental but should a penalty have been awarded to Liverpool to give them a chance to grab all three points. I'm sure Arsenal fans will say, not on your Nelly. City fans will say, this is a conspiracy theory. You just want us to lose. But Liverpool fans will feel aggrieved. We're going to go through all of that. Of course, reviewing the match in itself, because it was nothing short of an absolute clinical quality at times mixed together with mistakes and drama aplenty. And together, it's why, for me, it's the most, it's the best, most watched and most entertaining league in the world. But when I look at this game, look, everything about City that I've been saying in the last few weeks, I think was proven today. Beyond reasonable doubt, it has been proven. They are a solid team. They're great on the ball. They will create opportunities and chances and they did that throughout the course of this game but they are susceptible city they will take big punches and whether it was on the counter counter press in their own half or through general counter-attack play liverpool created so many opportunities and so many chances today and i don't really want to slag off luis diaz because i thought he did some impeccable things today but a bit of better finishing and a few better first touches when he received the ball. And it really should have been two or three more goals to Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. But 19 attempts on goal from Liverpool today. Only six of them on target will really disappoint the Liverpool fans in, in, in reality. But everything I thought was not wrong with City because they're amazing. And we're nitpicking here at the elite end of the spectrum in a title race. But they are susceptible to counterattacks. Their high line is easy to penetrate this year, genuinely. It's so easy to penetrate. It's like a holiday, it's like a holiday in Ibiza. You're getting some. You're going to get some. It's just going to happen. And for me, it's why I made Liverpool last week's my favourites to win the Premier League title. And where Liverpool deserves so much credit today is their number one goalkeeper's out. Trent is out. Robertson isn't fully fit. Kanate is out. Matip is out. Curtis Jones, out. I'm probably going to forget some names of players that are out. Salah on the bench, not fully fit. Jota, out. This is a depleted. This is an exhausted. This is a Liverpool team in terms of strength in its squad that is absolutely to its bare bones. And yes, Jack Grealish is missing for Man City. But the fact that Liverpool battered them for large periods of the game the fact that they took the lead and weren't able to capitalize. I wouldn't go as far to say it's embarrassing. That would be far too strong, but it's a huge missed opportunity for Manchester City today to go top of the Premier League table to then go into the game against Arsenal, knowing that we win this, we're going to create some clear blue water. But, I think City will be disappointed with their overall performance. And I want to call out V and I want to call out Hamza when they come on because they said to us that, no, Terry, we only concede these counterattacks to rubbish teams that we're not scared of. 
It won't happen against Liverpool. They say it won't happen next week when they play Arsenal. I completely and utterly disagree. It's the weakness in this City team that may see them, may see them relinquish their Premier League title. But that's why, for me personally, I still have Liverpool as my marginal favourites, although they are joint uh, level on points with Arsenal, as, as we know, goal difference has put Arsenal on top. Depending upon Arsenal's result away at the um, Emirates next week, so next game week, so in two weeks' time, that may change then. Liverpool, though, still, I keep saying it, this depleted squad still keeps delivering, still keeps delivering. But what I have to say is this. I do think they were robbed today. I do. Now, yes, they should have taken some more of their own chances. Yes, there was some fortune. You know, Doku hitting the post late on as an example. Could have gone City's way because City are an amazing world-class team. But firstly, look, uh, the, the first goal I'm 50-50 on. It's not an offside situation, so it's different. But Ake is definitely blocking um, McAllister. He is, no doubt about it. And of course, re the referees, PG, MOL, set the precedent when they disallowed Liverpool's goal for blocking a runner. Uh, from a free kick. So we need to see the same energy. And like we all said at that time, technically it was correct to disallow the goal, but they very rarely do anything about people blocking runs, whether it leads to somebody being offside or whether it stops a defender from clearing a ball. It doesn't get, it never goes through. It was one of those weird decisions where every like one in 100, they give it and it infuriates people. But I do think the penalty decision towards the end I know Arsenal fans won't want to hear this. I know City fans won't want to hear this. But I cannot understand and I cannot fathom how this is not a penalty. In any way, shape or form, I can't fathom it. Yes, some people will say he, pu he was pulling out. And because he was pulling out, therefore, it's not a foul. But that's not how the letter, that is not how the law of the game works. He's put his boot high. He has clipped it slightly, but that's irrelevant. And he has followed through with his studs into the chest of an opponent. So I cannot fathom how this is not a penalty. And I'm actually watching the video footage back. It's just ridiculous. And this is what I'm, I'm going to say, right? People can make all the excuses they want. People can say he bent his leg. He didn't follow through. He pulled out. He touched the ball slightly. I would bet a lot of money. And we will see it in the next week or two of football. So keep your eyes peeled. If this happens anywhere else on the pitch, it's a foul. If it was McAllister that did that to Doku, it would have been a free kick. Game would have been over. The referee and VAR, because it was the 98th minute of the game, they bottled it. They saw it and said, oh, hang on a minute. If we give this penalty, we're, set, we're giving Liverpool the three points. Gooners will be angry. We understand why. City fans will be angry. Lots of United fans will be angry. The world will be angry. I don't want that on me. That's too much pressure. And I think they bottled it. Anywhere else on the pitch, that's a foul. And that is a yellow card. It is dangerous play. You raise your foot that high. Your studs make contact with an opponent. I remember Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane against Manchester City. Goes to win the ball, puts his foot in the air. Doesn't mean to. Bends his leg to pull out and catches Edison in the face. Now, I know it's the face and not the chest, but he got a rightful red card because it was dangerous. This isn't a red card offence because it's the chest, not the face. But that's just what's ironic about it. If he'd have got the face, if McAllister was sitting there with a big gash on his face that needs stitches, they'd have, they'd have gone, oh my God, look at the blood. It must be a penalty, mustn't it? The, foul, the foul's identical, though. doesn't matter if it's the face, the neck, or the chest. It's the same dangerous play. So for me, I, I think City have got, of caught life here. I think City here have absolutely caught life. I think City got away with a huge decision here that went in their favour without a shadow of a doubt. But of course, I want your opinions. I want to know what you think. I want to know what you feel in relation to this. We're going to put a poll up when the panel comes on as well. But you've got to get the like button smashed for us first of all. Once we hit 1,000 likes, we'll get the button uh, that the poll changed over. But yeah, as I say, for me, 110% a penalty. And I don't, again, it's not because I want City to lose per se. If it was the other way around, I would have said it. And it was only last week. Oh, you want Liverpool to win. It's only last week I was criticizing the referee in the game against Liverpool.
the drop ball situation deserve criticism. This deserves criticism. It's about calling out the inconsistencies of referees. We have to do this to make football better. It's not about an agenda against any side. I don't believe it's corruption. I don't believe City have cheated. I don't believe City are paying the referees. I don't believe it's a conspiracy to stop Liverpool winning. I think in the moment, the referees in VAR bottled it because they knew what a decision like that in that second of the game would do. But however, we saw one other terrible decision today as well, which would, have, which would have changed the course of the game. Two fouls at the halfway line early on for Carl Walker. Should have been booked. It wasn't. That means he defends differently for the rest of the game if he's booked early and should have been, especially with the way Diaz was cooking him. So yeah, the referees had absolute stinkers today. They refereed the occasion. They refereed the severity of the football match as opposed to following the letter of the law. And that, in my very humble opinion, it's not acceptable ever. It's not acceptable at any moment. And Liverpool fans should feel aggrieved. I think they will. And uh, again, Liv Klopp and Liverpool, the fans, should be demanding explanations. They should be demanding, I'm not saying replays, but they should be the letters, the emails, whatever it may be. They need to go down that line again. All football fans have to stand behind Liverpool on this because it isn't about the occasion and what it means for the title race. It's all about the impact that these terrible decisions have upon the games, but I want to hear from you all. I want to get your thoughts. I want to get your feelings on this. We're going to go to some of your super chats before bringing out our brilliant panel today. Uh, first super chat, excuse me. First super chat we have here is 100% a penalty uh, from Doku, but Arsenal stay top. Thank you, um, Abraham, for being so honest. It's hard for people to do that. Funny how clubs are always robbed when they play against Man City and nothing is said in the media, but when it's the opposite big drama. Yeah, I don't control what the media say. What I will say is this. In the previous game between these two, I felt that City were robbed of a goal, and, and, and I said that City were robbed in that, and I'll keep it 100. Haaland with another disappearing act. Yeah, Haaland was awful. Haaland was awful today. An absolute atrocious performance from him in every single which way. He just did nothing. I forgot he was out there. Awful performance from Haaland today. You're right. Uh, watching the challenge again, the ball hit McAllister first. Completely uh, cowardice from VAR. Fans need to realize that these refs are screwing over everyone. Agreed. It's why everyone should stick together on this, but they won't because people are too tribal on this. City always get away with this referee FC. Come on, you gooners. Uh, Terry, please send me the link. Um, Peterson, just drop me a DM and I'll send it to you, my bro, on Twitter. Thank you. Uh, Arsenal fan, I'd have lost it if we didn't get that penalty. And that's exactly it. Because if it was the other way around, City fans would be saying pen. They absolutely would. So the next time a City player gets uh, studded in the chest, I don't want to see, I don't want to see City fans complain about it if they say this is not a penalty. As an Arsenal fan, Liverpool deserve that penalty 100%. Uh, thank you for being so honest there, Tony. Uh, get it out to your system, Terry. City finishing 17th and getting knocked by Arsenal in the Champions League. Finishing 17th? I don't know, don't know what you mean by that. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know what you, I don't know what you mean by that. Arsenal fan here, McAllister pulled uh, Ake for the goal, uh, so not blocking right to give the goal, uh, but De uh, Defo a penalty at the end. Anywhere else on the pitch? Uh, great, great, great words there, Jamie. Thank you, sir. Terry, can Arsenal really win at the Etihad? Yes, it's not even questionable. Of course they can, because they're going to be susceptible to these same counter attacks. As I told V, and as I told Hamza. Last week, they are conceding counters and counter uh, counter press opportunities week in, week out against everybody. The better teams than the worst teams. They are the favourite city to win that game because they're the better team. But Arsenal can win. And there's a difference between being able to win and being the favourites to win. They shouldn't be confused. Diaz, a hat-trick of misses plus robbery is a lot to take. Yeah, those Diaz misses, man. He should have done so much better than he did with some of those chances. Uh, this City team ain't it. Every time they play a team with a pulse this season, they flop. Arsenal can absolutely get a result at the empty had. I agree. Uh, that Diaz goal versus Spurs, the older guard handball, Doku planting his studs into McAllister's chest. How does it keep happening? Excuse me. Um, yeah, look, you've had some bad ones against you this year and some and some good ones against you, but the referee should be called out regardless. I agree. Because Doku touched the ball first, then body, not a penalty. If the body, then ball, it's a penalty. But that isn't true. The follow-through is important. 
the follow through is absolutely important. You can't win a ball if your follow through endangers a player. That is the letter of the law. And studs in the chest is dangerous, in, in my humble opinion. Uh, Doku cleared back uh, the ball off uh, McAllister. No penalty. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Ake uh, behind the ball from a corner, not offside. Oh, yeah, I didn't say it was offside. I said blocking the runner. Yeah, Again, I'm 50-50 on that one, if I'm being honest with you. Diaz Hall of Shame performance cost us the league. It's over. That's an interesting one. I can't wait to hear from the Liverpool fans on that. Uh, if City play like this uh, against Arsenal, we're smoking them. Could be very tricky. Could, that could genuinely happen. We are top of the league. We are top of the league is what Guna Carlos says here. The referees are getting paid to work in the UAE and K, uh, KAS. A huge conflict of interest issues uh, could influence their decisions. PGMOL disgrace for allowing this. Uh, it's uh, if it's not a penalty, fine. But I don't want to hear Liverpool again. Yeah, you'll only get that from tribal people, my friend. Uh, if you watch the game, you don't see Haaland. But if you watch Haaland, wait, where is Haaland? <laughs> uh, Deed Town here says rivals will say Doku won the ball before uh, giving Maka a sweet chi a sweet chin music, so no red. Same fan says Curtis was a good. Uh, was a good because even though he won the ball, he ended endangered the opponent. Exactly. Exactly. That's why they're both fouls for me. Um, I would give a yellow card for this because he did pull his leg out, but it still doesn't stop it from being a foul. So you, imagine you're basically saying like you have to like fracture his, 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 his solar plex for it to be a foul. This is weird. Not you. Some people. Absolutely shocking from the refs. Even as a gooner, that was diabolical. That said, uh, we are winning the league, but shambolic refs affect everyone. Uh, contrary opinion. Uh, watch it again. Doku kicked the ball before then. Touch McAllister. He was trying to sell it by rolling on the floor. 50-50. Fair play, Kenny. Thank you, bro. Uh, Liverpool fans to focus on Arteta's celebrations. Uh, does this make Liverpool third favourites for the league now? No. I still have them as marginal favourites. I still have them as marginal favourites. Um, Followed by City. City and Arsenal level now for me. Uh, Rodri's handball against Everton cost Liverpool. Yes, it did. It very, very much did. Um, this here. Take a draw, improve second half. Love the effort in this team. Lucho? Who's that? He's a fighter. Is that D uh, Darwin Nunes or Diaz? Okay, if it was hand backstage. Cool. Uh, he's a fighter, but his end product needs to improve. We didn't test Ortega enough. I think that's very, yeah, you're very, very, it's very, very true there. Uh, we are top of the league. We are top of the league. Thank you, Guna Carlos. Uh, as a basketball fan, I don't understand how blocking the runner is illegal. It's called, it, it it's obstruction. It, it's, if you're stopped, yeah, it, it, it just is in football. You're not allowed to do it, but it very rarely gets punished. Um, Okay, you sent me. Uh, uh, cool. If you sent me, a, uh, I'll send you the link over there, brother. No worries at all. I'll get that sent across. Uh, KDB, Harland, and Alvarez were anonymous. Klopp coached a masterpiece uh, without many of his first teamers. The efforts uh, Liverpool players put in is amazing. I agree. I, I think it was fantastic, and it was a phenomenal performance today. Uh, time for the panel now, people. Make sure like buttons are hit, and make sure you are subscribing. We have Ram here, Patrick. We have V. We have Sam for now, and I'm sure more people will join us. Welcome, gentlemen, um, to the show. Ram, we will talk about the performance, but I, I want to speak about the penalty to begin with uh, at the end. What did you make of it, bro? Oh, Terry, man. Terry, Terry. I, you know I don't like to talk about rate definition, but I've got to talk about this one again, man. You've been taught in football. I know everyone who's played football, even when they're a kid, your coach always tell you, never put your foot up because you are going to run the risk of getting a red card. How in a million years is that not a foul? How? I don't care if he got the ball. I don't care if McAllister got the ball first. You are endangering an opponent. And the precedent they set this season by saying, if you make a challenge and it endangers opponent, that is an automatic foul and a possible red card. And for some stupid reason, and Terry, you put it perfectly, mate. You put it perfectly. They bottled it. The refs absolutely bottled it. They couldn't do it. They wanted this title race to go on for a lot longer rather than doing the right thing, which is giving the penalty. And now we've got to get the back end of it. 
Make it make sense. I, even a kid, even a five year old kid, will tell you he's about to hit, he's about to hurt that hurt McAllister, and look what happens. And then we got to suffer for it. And I see Hamza shaking his head, being like, "Oh, it's, it's nothing. Is is it's probably not going to be a foul, mate? It's a foul in the letter of the law. If you're an endangering an opponent, it is a foul." Simple as Terry. Simple as. I want to hear what the city fans say. I want I to hear, hear you, what the what the excuses are. I really I hear, do. I, I hear you on that, uh, Patrick. What did you make of that penalty call right at the end? <sighs> you know what? <laughs> People are funny. You know that. People are funny, and Liverpool fans, don't you dare cry over this. You've been getting away with stuff. Well, city have got away with stuff. United have got away with stuff before. Arsenal have got away with stuff. We're like, what's happening here? Look, at the end of the day, it doesn't excuse the uh, refs for obviously doing all this. But for me, I don't know. I'm pretty sure if the same thing is happening in your end, you're coming here smiling and say we got away with one. But I don't know. For me, Doku gets the ball. I was watching it again because Terry was talking about it. Gets the ball. McAllister runs into him and they sort of like hit into each other. Maybe that's the reason why they didn't give the ref. But if you talk about the game today, uh, apart from the pen, because I'm not going to focus on the pen, Terry, because we're going to go back and forth. And uh, Liverpool fans, I'm here to give you respect as a team. I I, ha, I have been humbled a bit because I was busy doing this agenda saying Liverpool is just using Fugazi football, hero ball, and getting away with it. Now I understand why you're top, because I can tell you the truth. I did not see this Liverpool side. We play better, better Liverpool sides. This one especially, play football like that. So... Well done. Like, well done. I, I put my hat off and say respect. Obviously, unfortunately, we played into your hands by that Ake mistake. I know Anfield. I've watched it against Arsenal when it happened with the Jacker situation. As, long, as soon as you switch on the emotions at Anfield, you're screwed. And that's what happened with City. And I said it in my preview, Terry. I said, if we just let any emotional thing or a pen or something that's like a, a foul or start a fight and the Anfield card goes up, I told people, I was like, our, our team is going to crumble. People are like mentality. I was like, no, no, no. This is Anfield. I saw Arsenal side battering them 2-0. One moment. And they got, so you know what? Big up to big up to Liverpool fans. Liverpool fans, yes, I know you're going to cry about the pen all day. But if you guys are actual fans, you'd be sitting down there and applauding Bradley. Applauding that defender of yours, the kid. I don't know if his name is Kwan Sha or Kwan Chi. Yeah, I thought he was just an NPC. But my God, this kid held his own. I have never given props to Liverpool. Trust me. Even when you guys were good, I was bitter. Even when Salah, when I'm doing the combined X, I used to take Salah out and put Pat, my... Pat, Pat, can I well interrupt done. you for a minute? Yeah, go are ahead. You, are you being humble and praising Liverpool to deflect from saying, yes, we were lucky to not concede a penalty? No, really. Not really, to be honest with you. I, As much as sometimes I, I, I trigger people, and I'm very proud of this week because I triggered a lot of Liverpool fans before this game, which I'm proud of. When I go to football, the guys who are City fans here, who are my friends here, Veta and Hamza, when I speak football sometimes, I sit down and look at football as a football lover. To be honest with you, I did not at all, I repeat, see this Liverpool side after the lineup, play the football they were playing. So sometimes let's take our pride aside and say, well done to Liverpool. And let's, as City fans right now, sit down and say, we got away with one today to get a draw. We could have been smashed if uh, Diaz wasn't such a bad player. I have never seen such a horrible player 1v1. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say. I, pr I appreciate that, Samuel. Uh, as a Liverpool fan hearing that, and we will talk about the performance a little later in the show, but I, I do want to get opinions on this penalty because it was in the last moment of the game. It studs in the chest of one of your players in their box. In your opinion, should you have been awarded a penalty? Yeah, no, 100% the referee's bought with that. 100% the referee's bought with that. I mean, anywhere else on the pitch, that is at least a foul and a yellow card. At least. And yet, when it when it came down to it, I, the, the referee saw the situation, saw the, the stakes that it was, and just said, do you know what? I'm not going to handle any of this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to let the game go. Like, McAllister was actually smart there. I can't lie to you. McAllister was very smart there. He knew that Doku wasn't looking at him. He knew that Doku wasn't looking at him. So he ran to get the ball. And Doku's foot was so high, it hit him in the chest right here. It should have been a it should have been a penalty. Should have he should have got a yellow card. I, I won't say a red card, but he should have got a yellow card. We should have got a penalty to win the game. But I'm not gonna lie to you on that performance. I'm really proud of the boys. We should have won the game. We should have won the game. I feel like um, Man City were 
poor. They got away with a draw. Really got away with a draw. But yes, to, to answer your question, um, Terry, it was a pen. It was a stonewall pen. Yeah, listen, I, I totally get where you're coming from and I, I get why you would be proud and we'll get onto the performances in a minute. Hamza, uh, you've been shaking your head. You don't think it was a penalty at the end? Absolutely, it's a joke. Like, the fact that this is what they do most. Like, I'm, I'm being honest. Like, I just knew they'd take this... I don't know whether it's just privileged, p privileged football club who've always had the decision their way. And, and it's a joke. Like, if you give that a penalty, how many penalties are you going to give? The guy got the ball. Simple. He touches the ball. Fair enough. Afterwards, the player, the player runs to him. What can he do? That's football. Not con that is, it's not contact sport anymore. Let's stop football. You're not allowed to touch anyone now. The what, disgrace, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to broke you know, these people with the chest. The disgrace should be, today, Terry, you know who I'm upset? Michael Oliver. Disgraceful referee. You know why? Salah dived here. He agreed. That was in a penalty. Why did he not book him? Why did he not book him twice? Why? Who's Salah not to be booked? Are we not being told when Salah... He said, give either penalty for Salah, yeah? Or book him. The guy said, no, it's not. Because Salah died. I'm tired of this. Why are players getting away with it? Why are players getting away with it? Michael Oliver was poor today, yeah? Because of that decision. And he felt intimidated. But Liverpool feel they should have had a penalty. There's no way. I spoke to many fans. Who are not rivals? They know straight away it's not a penalty. Only Liverpool fan because they predicted that there will be a in Anfield. It's not, so they have to come up with a nice story. That it wasn't a pen hundred percent. No way it's a penalty. So let me ask you a question then. So you play Arsenal in a couple of weeks. Ball bounces in the box. Uh, Kai Havertz puts his foot up, marginally touches the ball. Yeah, and then I, and I then he. And then he studs one of your players in the chest. You will not complain about it in that's any not, capacity. He picks the ball out and the guy that's, runs That's, that's not what I said. I'm asking a question. So yes, if the same thing happens, so the next time one of your players gets studded in the chest or in the body or a tackle goes in, they follow through and hurt your player's leg, you're, you're not going to complain. The difference between that is, do you remember De Jong, Xavi Alonso in the World Cup final? That's yeah. in the box as a penalty. That's dangerous. He didn't get the ball. He got the play straight. But if you get the ball and the player follows through, you can't do anything. Otherwise, you have to let the ball go then all the time. I have to let go because there's no way. I have to aim to get the ball. You're chasing for the ball. What are we doing here? Has football changed? But why are people crying? Everyone knows it's not a penalty. Why should we not talk about Mo Salah diving today? What about Mo Salah diving? You don't want to talk about that. First of all, it's not Why didn't you dive. talk First about... Why did Mo Salah dive. not get booked twice for diving? Why? Why, who is why, didn't, why, didn't, why didn't Kyle Walker get booked for the multiple cynical challenges that he did? No, that, I'm talking about dive. Basic no, diving. No, no, no. I'm diving. talking about cynical challenges. Kyle Walker should be on no, the pitch. No, no, forget that. I asked Kyle about Walker, I'm not forgetting no, it, bro. Stop crying. Exactly Stop what you're crying. Doing, you just doing crying. exactly what you're doing. I say, bro, 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 I say bro, bro, Kyle Walker should have been sent off for multiple cynical challenges. And you're saying Salah should be diving. So you've got to have one or the other, what? my friend. This, I, this did Salah a, dive yes, yesterday? Jerry, this, man, this man is a genius. Jerry. This man is a genius. He's not a genius because he's done exactly the same thing as you. You, oh, no, you, def no. you, you defected by saying, oh, my God, Liverpool are amazing. No, Hamza, I'm, Hamza I'm has I'm said serious. it's okay to stud people in the chest. Let's no. talk about Mo Salah's diving, which he didn't do. He got I'm touched. It wasn't a foul, but he was definitely touched. But both of you have confirmed to me with your deflections that you know you were lucky. But instead of being men, real men today, Wait, you're being, did I say, being, did I say we're lucky? Being little babies. Period. But I said, we're, I said we're lucky at the end. Didn't but you, I you did, we're but lucky? yeah, but you, you did a nice little question. Ah, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got, yeah, we've yeah. got Hamza's brother here. What are you saying, bruv? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you're on mute. Right. Man's on mute. No, I just, I just came to show that this is the... I'm, 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 a, I'm an Arsenal fan. Um, Thank you guys for the draw. Liverpool deserve to win today. If this is what you're going to come and play against our city at the Etihad... I'm going to say to all of you, Hamza, Patrick, Vitor, 3-1. Clearly, and I'm saying it with Hamza's head. You see my Hamza's head? That's how I'm saying it to you. So this is the and guy that's confused with <laughs> yes. being an Arsenal fan. This is the no, guy. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> I like that. You know, I like that. You're the you guy that's Arsenal top that looks like me. And put, <laughs> no, Hamza. No, Hamza. I can be whatever I want to be at any given time. At any given time. What, what's going on I can on be here? you. I can be you. I can be Vitor. <laughs> And I can be Patrick. 
What? No, 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 no. There's only one Vader. I came here. I came here to just tell you, City fans, that if this is how you're going to play against Arsenal at the Etihad, you are going to be masked. They will mass. We will massacre you. We'll see you in two weeks. By the way, Liverpool, congratulations. I mean, you guys, those your kids are amazing. Amazing set of young players you guys have. Amazing. You just have to. You have to give it to them. They they, they, they certainly. Yeah. They did the business. No, they did, and we'll, we'll get onto that in a minute. I want to, V. I want to get your take on this penalty, bro. You want to get my take on this penalty? First and foremost, the City fans were humble. I want to say congratulations to Liverpool on the draw. They played well. Um, if it weren't, if it weren't for an end of end of an era, I don't think this match would have had that much of an impact. Obviously, we're not going to see Klopp anymore, so it was a very important important game. Um, this rivalry or this era is now over. But, oh, Veta, this is this is the last one, isn't it? This is, this is the last. This is the last. This is the wow. last we're going to see a Klopp we see Liverpool. In the FA Cup. Unless we see no, in I mean, in league play, in league play. This is the last time. So, wow. um, I think it's only fitting that Pep and Klopp end in a draw, home and away. It shows how quality the two managers are and how tough the clubs have been. But this penalty that you want to talk about, I think, I think, I don't agree with it. But I think it's also important to notice that as poor as we played today. As, as quality as Liverpool were, as, as ferocious as many of you want to say they were, the only reason why they're up in arms about this is for two city errors, which would have given them a win. As good as they were, as poor as we were, they still needed to rely on errors from us to win this game. So the, the penalty I don't agree with because I think McAllister knew what he was doing. Like Samuel pointed out, he played up to it. He saw it, he saw it an opportunity to, to really get his body into that raised foot. I don't think he was really harmed. But he, he milked it. And it wasn't the first time that McAllister was trying to seek a foul in the box. Salah tried to seek a foul in mid-play with Walker, that which was a legit tackle. And Salah also tried to go down in the box late in the game. So I think it was a little bit of desperation, but could we expect anything less for the importance of this game? That's all I got to say. I don't Listen, if it happened to me in the, that exact same way, I would understand the ref not giving me a pen, 100%. I'll have to disagree when you said um, we were relying on um, city mistakes. Nah, that is that. No, that no, no. Your happen. scoring opportunities that you guys are up in arms about are based off of city mistakes. But that's nah, I, I still don't agree with that. I still don't agree with that because we we at points we played you off the. Hang on, I've, I've got you, V. V, v I've because... got you. I've got you, V. V, I've got you. You've done yourself, V. What, what Hamza what? as well. He, he'll probably agree with you. I love it when I get these moments. So a, couple, a couple of weeks ago, you were playing Brentford and a Brentford defender split. Yeah. And a lot of people in the comments said that you were lucky. And you said, but the mistake and slip only happened. Well, that's not my voice, Terry. Relax, relax, relax. This is what you, this is what you said. Okay, but that's not my voice. This is, relax this is what you said, but this is how it sounds to us now. Okay, with got you. Got you. It's, but it wasn't a slip or a mistake it's the pressure that we put upon them today you make mistakes and instead of it being the pressure that liverpool put upon you you're just calling it a mistake and almost calling it luck so you've walked in you've, you've again you've, you've done yourself there v you've done yourself. i love this game i love this game like you press your opponent to make sure they make mistakes that's football that's strategy so if you say like most of goals i would even agree that most of all rely on on the mistake on the other team. So no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Peter, Peterson, one second. Peterson, one second. I got to get to Terry on this one. There's a difference between a player having the ball in offense, attacking onto a defender and a defender slipping versus a team pressing another and a misplaced pass. They're completely different situations. Okay, hold on, Vader, Vader, what are you saying? Sorry, sorry. At the 19th minute, at the 19th minute, when they pressed Rodri and Rodri gave that back pass back. And he missed that ball. Are you saying that was not a press from Liverpool? Yeah, crying. See my face. This was wrong. I'm not talking Manchester about fans. that instance. There were many incidents. I can list them. So you are right. You having the possession and running at someone and then panicking because it's Haaland and slipping is different right. from you giving the ball away. Yeah, but that's, it's not that's what my whole point from a couple of hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a different situation, yes. But the reason the mistakes happen, according to you, is pressure. Now, I'm not disagreeing that I think there was mistakes from you today. And I think some of that is because of the oppression that's put upon you, but I'm just calling out your hypocrisy that when mistakes are made that favor city is because of your pressure and your power and your presence. But when it happens <laughs> to you, you're giving people gifts. And those two things cannot coexist in the universe at the same time. The same as it's the first time ever I've seen any football fan say that 
It's okay to put studs in somebody's chest. Why are we taking fo- a contact out of football? The game's gone. It's, it's a crazy one for me. You all know it was a stonewall penalty. If you didn't get it, you'd all be here saying we should have had it. Just be men, be men, and put your hands up and say we caught some life with that one. No one's calling you cheaters here. No one's calling, saying you paid the refs. The referees bottled it, but you got lucky because of that. Just admit it, V. No, listen, listen. This is why this is why I get on to you, Terry. When you bring up a totally different example and then try to pin it on me with what I'm talking about, let's all agree that what Holland did is very different than what happened today. No. And I agree. In football, there's errors on both sides based yeah. off of pressure or situation. Now, instead of us talking about this pen, why don't we talk about Nunez's seven offsides Let's, why don't we talk about why don't we talk about how poor that was? Let's not do that. V, v, I'm not, v, I'm not sure how you cook. I'm not sure how you serenade. I'm not sure how you go through life. But we've got a long time. We can marinate here. We can take our time and go through each talking point. Okay. The speed of which, the speed of which Man City fans want to get off this penalty subject and move on to other things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Terry, that wasn't a penalty. It's simple. Like, you can't... Why do we feel sorry for them? Like, why? Why do I have to, like, apologize to Liverpool fans all the time? You get every decision. We know you're the media darlings. Everyone who lives in England knows. Media darlings. You You come out asking for every validation on decisions. Yeah? You get referees sacked for the Tottenham game. No one gets that. You are the only one that gets referee demoted. We don't get that. Arsenal don't because get that. You know, you, Why don't because, because you do you that? Pay the you price for much. You keep talking about the top the rest. Rest. It wasn't a penalty. And if the referee had given a penalty for touching the ball and then touching his chest, that's the de- football's gone. Why did Hamza, you're already the- wrong? You're already wrong. And, you're already and, wrong. And that's the decision. Did wrong. he get the ball? Did he get the ball first? Hamza, yes. Last yeah. game against Nottingham Forest, the ref got demoted because of the mistake that he made. So already the ref got demoted for the Nottingham Forest mistake. Yeah, that forced mistake that even the letter of the law touching the ball first does yes. not make it no foul. But touching okay, the ball, Romero, the guy runs to you. No, but it's, it doesn't run to you. It's if your challenge. It's why well, there's been a few tackles on Man United players in the last couple of months, where the goalie, your goalkeeper, ch- tackled the other day on um, uh, Garnacho. Goalkeepers always have this higher threshold than anybody else. If anybody else wins the ball and goes for a player like that, they always give fouls. It's just sometimes that, that you know, that's just like it's like an unwritten rule that goalies yeah. can be a little bit more aggressive. Yep. That I understand because they seldom punish goalkeepers and keep it fair. But I'm telling you now, if you're playing Arsenal in two weeks' time at the, the, the Etihad and that exact same situation happens in Arsenal's penalty box, you will get a penalty without a shadow. No. We of a doubt, you'll, you'll be getting it. You, and, and you wouldn't come on here and say we got lucky getting a penalty because studying people in the chest is okay. Jerry, the fact that we have to argue about that, it's crazy. To I know me. anybody would get that they say against them, they'll be mad. They reviewed it, it was okay. Oh, they reviewed it. Part of this. guys, come on, last second decision. That should be the bed all day long. McAllister I, went for that contact. Come on, guys. You know this. Yeah. Oh, okay. So before we move on, I want to conclude this. The City fans are saying Doku did not stud McAllister in the chest. McAllister chested Doku's studs. Got it. Got it. Not the ball. Um, we're going to talk. We're going to talk some football. We're going to talk some football now. Um, I want to ask this question. I'm going to ram first. How how were Liverpool able to to nullify? City for large parts of the game and essentially pocket Haaland today. What is it you think you did that, that enabled that to be so successful for you? Good old-fashioned PMP. <laughs> That's the only way. When you play against teams like City, you like to play the ball, like to be technical. The only way you can play away from them, against them, is PMP, intensity, and playing at a speed that is quicker than theirs. And that's what we did. Whenever we had the ball, at no moment's notice, Sobos lies on them. McAllister's on them. Nunez, Diaz, Elliot when he started, they were all on them as soon as they got in touch with the ball. And that's what we kept on doing. And the intensity was there from minute one to, to minute to minute 90 or minute 100. But it was a complete opposite of what the Arsenal game was, which I was crying for, intensity. And that's what we proved from minute one to minute 90, intensity all the way through until the very end. Mm. The, only, the only reason they got their goal was through a lapse in judgment and a lapse in... in a, 
in uh, uh, concentration in that corner. That's it. Other a mistake, than that, a mistake. Then you gifted it to him. But we, uh, no, I, I say, I say it straight. We gifted it to them. It was, it was a lapse in concentration and a lapse in in judgment. And you we were, you were goal. found out. That was design on the training pitch. No, it wasn't. You were found no, it out. Wasn't. You, no, it right. wasn't. If you look at the replay, all Which our players, all our players were flat footed. Man, 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 all man, our man, players were flat footed. They weren't. They weren't. They were you know I what Kobe pointed right at? He pointed at the right. set piece. Yeah, he pointed at the set piece coach and went like this. The the, the design that they know you're weak. Yeah. In, in, you in can those see the way. No, it's still, it's still, it's still yeah. it does, it still doesn't change the fact that we still didn't concentrate. Yeah, well, that still didn't that goal. Still didn't and to an extent, to an extent, <laughs> Kelleher should have done win. better. You know what I mean? No, we I gifted you your. If you want to talk about, oh, we gave you a mistake. We gifted you a goal. You gifted, you gifted the goal. We gifted each other. I'll tell you this, yeah, Erling Haaland pocketed today. The only thing he tried to do was start a fight with Gomez and he still lost. He still lost. Man like Gomez still bullied him around. That's your, that's your, that's your Are, are you right here there. to exaggerate, Ram? <laughs> Ram, are you that here to talk ball or here to right exaggerate? He, he's very Gomez well. Four of your not... best players were nullified. Rodri, nullified. Foden, nullified. Harden, nullified. Bernardo Silva, nullified. That's what they were. Bernardo Silva got rattled. Oh. McAllister had him in his pocket. McAllister had Bernardo yeah. Silva in his pocket. He How did you do all that? Today. How come you didn't win? You did all that and still didn't win. Because we didn't take our chances. And I'm, yeah, I'm, say, I'm man enough to that's, say it. I'm, a, I'm, man enough to, I'm man enough to say you, you, Diaz is not like Mane. Ram, like, hold, 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 Oh, but you still didn't win because Liverpool were in a actually good good position because Man City are playing Arsenal in two weeks' time. That we can actually, yes, we wanted to win, yes, we need to win, but technically, if a draw for us is actually all right, so don't oh, give not. me that. You're one point in front, one point. No, wait, well, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? In but the you table. Are home. Are you table? But you are home. You're Where home. are you You're... in the table? Where are yeah, you in the but... table? Who's winning this league, Sam? Liverpool. Okay. Straight. Okay. And you could afford a draw today. Yes. We'll, yes. we'll be back. We'll be back. We are the same. Yeah, I, I want to say we'll be back. Guys, 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 what was wrong with City today? Because you, you told us, you told us the other day that you wouldn't can see the counter attacks and the counter press opportunities against the better sides because you would come in differently, but you did. And if Diaz had his shooting boots on today, it could have been very, very painful for city. And does this not concern you about going up against the best team in the country right now in Arsenal being as leaky at the back as you are in terms of opportunities? No, no, no. You asked an excellent question. And when you asked whether I was concerned about us conceding the counter attacks, no, because it's a byproduct on how we attack. Right, as good as Liverpool are, they still concede counterattacks as well. It's just a style of play. Now, was I concerned going up against Liverpool? For two reasons, I wasn't. One, because they had Nunes. As good as he's been as of late, he's still wasteful, and he wasted five or six five or six possession opportunities because the man can't stay on side. He oh, can't read the game. Yeah. Horrible, when horrible. when Klopp when let me finish, please. When Klopp mm -hmm. subs him on, I think he has Talk a better game because he doesn't have to concentrate for ninety minutes. Now, also. If we happened to play against Salah the entire game, oh, it would have been a really real concern with conceding these counterattacks. But I think Pep set them up because of the team we were facing today. If they were clinical, it had been a different story. But the same goes for us. Liverpool conceded counterattacks for us as well. We, wasteful with the pass or not taking our shots was a case. But that's, the, that's how the game plays. If we were to be a lot more conservative, I don't think we can see those chances like we sometimes see in Champions League to a lesser degree. But it's a style of play thing, Terry. It's not, it's so, not so big. You concern. talk about Nunes, but you don't talk about Holland. You know what? You know what? Okay, um, Sam, you want me to talk about Holland? Talk about that. Talk about that bomb that um, was ghosting the whole whoa, game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You lower your voice because there's no way no, no, the record no, 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 score no, no, in the league. You're, coming, is you're coming in with a lot of time, and I'm not going to lie to you. Hold on. Sam, relax. Sam, relax. I'm under pressure right now. You're under pressure right it's now. Triggered. This, man is triggered. this man is triggered. This man is triggered. Listen, you want me mm -hmm. to talk about Holland, the league leading goal scorer, the, the, the record holder as well. You want me to talk about him instead of Nunes when yeah. Nunes isn't even at his level? He went up against Kwanzaa. He went up against Kwanzaa. 
He did about he went up against Kwanzaa like and Van Dyke. And he, and Sam, Sam, calm down. I don't know why. Hey, you're guys, so guys, one at a time, please, just so the viewers can hear. Yeah. So, what? Yeah. I mean, he didn't have a good game today, Harlan. He was, you know, what, what? What is it you think that Liverpool did that sort of nullified the best striker in the world? I think Liverpool. They have one of the best defenses in the league. I'm. I'm not going to discredit that. And also, when we look at the chance that Holland had, who was the guy that stopped him? It was nothing. Kwanzaa wasn't even close to him. It was Van Dyke with his experience. It's 75 million price tag, and him slowing down Holland in that really good goal scoring opportunity. He played him well, put him on his left, but he still wasn't paced enough to get that shot off right. Mm. So at the end of the day, he was pocketed, okay, but it was between that young man that you want to bring up in Kwanzaa and Van Dyke, who was legitimately one of the best in the world, if not the best. So relax with this talk about Holland being a bum. Because if he is a bum, I question them. Let me finish and make my point, my man. If Holland is a bum, I wonder how you speak of your own striker. That's it. Okay. So what I'm trying to do here is what what I'm trying to do here is trying to show the same energy. Because you cannot speak on my striker Nunes for not doing anything or being offside when your striker did not do anything. So when Nunes is a West man. Let's Guys, we'll, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll keep talking. About how will ask Hamza a question here? Um, Liverpool had so many of their first team players missing or unfit for today's game. Um, how how big an opportunity have your club messed up on here? You know, you, you're talking about a number of kids on the football pitch. You're talking about a number of second choice and third choice players in, in positions. A very very thin bench that Liverpool have got. How big an opportunity is it that you've missed today with some of your top players not turning up and performing to their best? I think, they, I said it to City fans, I said, listen, like, we should have won that game easily. And and and, and first half, we have to blame Manchester City. Yeah, we have to blame it. No disrespect to Liverpool. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I, I don't, I'm not disrespecting you. We are, like, you're 1-0 up. Terry, I have seen my guys, Madrid gone there. And let me, we have to stop like sometimes, yeah. Let's not become Arsenal fans. You are allowed to criticize our own player, even including Phil Foden. When he makes a mistake, you say, yo, that was a mistake. I said before the game, I said, there will come a moment because I've seen top players, they create that moment. Yeah. Modric is through on goal. I've seen him. Benzema's there free. You know what he does? Tapping, yo Benzema, I prefer your tapping. They take that game home. They've done it to Liverpool. How many times we've seen that? Our players, the problem is this is what Pep must speak to them. When you have big moments, is football is a team sport. We should have nullified them, slaughtered them, man. I don't respect Liverpool with those young players. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, Terry, I'm not saying I'm disrespecting them, but. I don't care. We should have slaughtered. We were one nil up. Phil Foden could have passed the thing. He went for a shot. We had another chance. We didn't take advantage. And I just thought, yo, I see Madrid in this, this scenario. Vinic- Vinicius, Benzema, there you are. Take a tap him. I don't care. That's what no, you this do. This is garbage. No, no, this, this is rubbish. No, no, no. What are we doing one. here? What are you Alone talking about, bro? What are you talking about? You go- we, bro, have, yeah. we keep bro, you got good. Good. If Diaz had finished, bro, he would have dug you lot in the ground. Yes, he he was, he, bro. You we should have won that game. First half. Two you nil up. Should have won nothing. You shouldn't have won nothing. Your players looked like they weren't champions. Your players looked like they hadn't been in this position before. They were ah, making mistakes. The, the that they were making. Bro, the way the way that Liverpool were cutting through you was like a hot knife through butter. I'm an Arsenal fan. I don't care about Liverpool. I don't care because about you're not scared City. of them. You don't care about both you don't of you guys. Scared of, you no, don't I don't care about them. both of you guys. Don't, but don't the lie, thing don't is, lie. the thing is, the thing is, the reality of the situation here is that when you guys went to Anfield today, they cut through you on multiple occasions. If Diaz but could hit a barn door, if Diaz could hit a barn door, he would have been a hat trick hero today. We could have scored. Doku could have scored. Fordham could have scored. We had another chance, but Alvarez could have scored. We had chances. Yes, but they had more chances. chances than you, and they had the more, the more. No, it doesn't matter. Sad. When you, you, you had, up, you had, you had, had what? Doku hitting the bar. You had, you had one that hit. No, sad, forget that. Doku I'm talking about the first half. No, sad. 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 First half. We were one minute up and we popped them. Let me just step in a minute because I, I, I want the viewers to be able to understand. So one minute you're kicking off at your poor performance, Hamza. And then when someone calls out your poor performance, you start talking like, no, nah, we're really good though. No, we're first, first half. 
I'm talking oh. about first half. Yeah, but, but you, you, half, weren't you, very, you weren't very. You weren't okay, but you weren't very good today. And yes, you you had opportunities. You didn't have chances. You weren't peppering their goalkeeper. You were you're actually really poor when it comes to those chances. And I, I'm going to say it bluntly: when you look at this as a title race game, the pressure that's now on you to beat Arsenal at home, which are the favourites to do, is huge. And with the opportunities that you concede, and I said this the other day, and I stood by: if you didn't win today, I don't think you win the league, because I think Arsenal will now come to the Etihad and beat you, because they are going to catch you on the counter. And they're going to score. They're harder to break down and create opportunities against. They're probably the hardest team you'll face in Europe all year at breaking down and trying to create chances against. And I think that you guys are now going to have to overextend because you have to win that game because Liverpool are likely to win their next match and you need to keep up with them. And this whole idea that City are going to go on a 10, 15 game unbeaten run, it's crazy. You can't even do it now. You can't go more than 10 games now. Um, sorry, winning streak, sorry, as yeah. an example. So look, I think it was really poor overall from City today because you, you've got you Arsenal favourites no I've got Liverpool's favorite, marginal favourites right now still and okay. and I broke this down a number of times Liverpool got the know-how and the manager and quality of course so that's just marginal if Arsenal get a positive result against you at the Etihad then I'm, I may swing in favour I may swing in favour of them but it's you're all neck and neck positive. but I just feel and by the way I'm not saying you can't win it if you don't yeah, beat yeah, Arsenal yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't think you will um because you're, Harry, uh, again, you contradicted yourself you're, within a minute. You where, said, I think where? Arsenal will come. To, you believe Arsenal will come to win in Etihad. Did you not say that? I, like, I, mean, think, they, I think they will beat you, yes. You think they'll beat oh. But now you said, oh, <laughs> if they beat us, if they come and beat us. Yeah, you're, okay. you're not sure even. So no, no, that is, that is, that's just, you, 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 you're doing, you're doing semantics here. I think they'll beat you. When I, when I was talking to V, I'm talking about if that happens, if what I think is going to happen happens, then my opinion on who's going to win the league is changing. That is how I meant it. So we can play semantics, but I stand by what I said a couple of days ago. With the way you're conceding opportunities, Arsenal beat you at the Etihad. You're too open. Say, you're, you are leaking opportunities like a broken fridge. Can I, they could, can I, can I say yeah, something on this? Can I say something on this? Them away. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let, me, let, me, let me say something on this, right? I'm going to say three things. The first thing, let me say, let me talk about Liverpool. I think uh, this is the reason why, even though I said I give respect to this Liverpool side because of the way they played, but somehow, I think the reason why they didn't win is because that front three is useless. Let's be honest. Without Salah, that front three is average. Because if you look at Diaz, my God, that's horrible. Because let, 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 me, let, me, let me explain to you. We are coming from Firmino, Mane. Mane goes through on goal. That's in the back of the net. I think I don't even doubt him. I was still smiling when Diaz gets through on goal. Because I know he's a bum. Because he is good with the pace, but he's pointless. And I think if Liverpool had the opportunity, obviously, to look for somebody else, I would have been scared if it was Jota. Diaz, horrible football player. Nunes, the reason why I don't rate Nunes is this. Liverpool fans, you guys are very smart. Let me tell you something. If Nunes was at United, an 85 million striker was at United doing what Nunes has been doing at Liverpool, where he shines for moments and he's ass most of the time. I'm telling jealous. you, I'm telling you, as United, people could have been criticised. United could have been criticised more saying, look at Nunes, uh, another flop the port. But the thing is, Liverpool fans, you've lied to us. Oh, Captain Chaos. Oh, he can do this. That is a horrible striker. That striker is not you consistent. Like but Patty, oh, Patty, oh, Patty, oh, Patty, oh, Patty oh, let's oh. just say, but this is what I'm going to say to you. I, I don't think you're, I think you're being a little bit disingenuous to, to Darwin Nunes. However, you are right. They had a much weaker team out there than a, yeah, than a fully fit Liverpool would have been. That's why I get that's the respect. But that's you why if I'm a City like, fan, I'm yeah. fuming at my player as a manager today because you've gone up against a depleted Liverpool team I been know. outclass for last periods and thrown away a lead in a yeah. title race. Well, talk that's about yourself. Terrible. Yeah, but do, 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 you remember, do you remember that time when I came here, Terry? And uh, obviously, I, I was not happy because we drew with Chelsea. It's because we've been drawing with bums. Let's be honest. I'm sorry, Chelsea fans. Your team is full of bums. Jackson is not a striker. You can say, oh, he is a top six striker. Same thing as Nunes. I'm sorry. I'll still stand on this. For 85 million, I think I would rather take the striker from United. He is better. He's way better. This one is useless. Now, let me talk about the game. First half, we were playing well. And as I repeat again, I said, if we let emotion get to this game or a slight mistake like the penalty we had, we're going to be in shit. That's what... Liverpool is a damn field. Emotion. Now, let me answer this Arsenal thing. I know Arsenal fans right now are giddy. You deserve to be. You're beating teams 6 0, 7 0. But, guys, let me just give you a warning, Arsenal fans, especially that other fraud who came a few minutes ago with the emojis. Uh, 
You can be laughing at us, saying we're going to come to the 80 head. We look better than you. This is football, and I know Arsenal and City. Somehow, you guys belong to us. This season, you got lucky. Rodri wasn't there. Our team was not that great. But now, if you come to the ATR, you might be too cocky saying, oh, we're going to roll this. Look at the Liverpool or City game at Anfield. That is Anfield. You're coming to the Etihad, you might be too overconfident and you might get smoked. I'm just telling you, you might get smoked. This is football. Don't be too cocky. You might actually get smoked. It, but overall, it could, look, look. It, it, could, it could happen. I, I want to go to some super chats as well. We've got, boys, we've got a lot. We've got 53 to get through. And I want to ask, I want to kind of pose the question to you right. guys. I want to be, be audience led. But I will say this. Um, Arsenal made a new signing yesterday evening. Mm. And since doing that already, the luck is changing. Uh, um, uh, as you can see here, I'm on loan at Arsenal for the rest of the season. Anything to help will be great. Uh, but remember, don't take it too seriously, people. Also, check out the squad, which is my brand new YouTube channel, a brand new podcast coming with one of the biggest football YouTubers in the world. Scan the QR code or click on the link below and go and subscribe. Like 10,000 of you have gone and visited the page. But get goddamn subscribed. Let's have a little look here at these at these super chats. <laughs> By the way, it, it is a joke, people. It I is just a joke. realized, Terry, the last couple of times he wanted the team to win the Prem, they didn't end up winning it. Yeah, but I didn't go, I didn't go fully in. This time I'm I'm going fully in with the gods. I'm I'm doing it properly. Uh let's have a little look here at some of these super chats and see what everybody is saying. Uh Terry, please show the city fans the game stats. I mean, game stats is great. Yeah, 19 shots to 10, more possession to Liverpool, better passing accuracy to Liverpool, more dribbles to Liverpool, more aerial challenge one to Liverpool, better uh, dual rate, everything's in Liverpool's favour, barring the scoreline. So, yeah, let's see. So he did well to, 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 to not lose. Uh, Patrick Slating Nunes, what the hell did Haaland do today? OK, let me say this. Um... Nunes and Haaland is not even a conversation, so I'm not going to talk about it. Nunes is like... What sort of car is a Punto? I don't know if you know a Punto, it's it's popular in Ireland, and you're talking about a BMW. What did I'm he sorry. do today? <laughs> what no, again, I is today. Patrick, Patrick, I agree with you. I agree with you. There is a clear difference in class. So if you buy a little shitty Punto and it breaks down, you expect it. Which is you, well, hang on, let me finish my point. Wouldn't you be more angry with a hundred thousand pound BMW breaking down? Would you not be more annoyed because the better more reliable car has fouled you than a clapped out pool, a, a punto, as you put it. So my question is this. I agree. Haaland is better than Nunes. Therefore, when he has bad games, you should be criticized more because he's Oh, better. no, we do. We do. We do. The City fans you know, do go after You keep him. deflecting from Haaland to Nunes. Let's talk about it once today, bro. That's what I'm talking about. I think, Patrick, no, I think, Nunes Patrick, you got told me to do one thing today. About, I think, hmm? I think what Haaland was told today, listen, this is, this is why I think people smart. I think he was told today, hold the ball. Yeah? You drop, and that's what I love. Football is not about... You see, you get tricked to think the number nine has to score all the time. He kept holding the ball, bringing other people into play. And that's what I saw he, he did. What? Okay, he, he scored the goal, but <laughs> he dropped today by Pep Guardiola. We will move on. We will move on. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, it's not all his studs. Oh, no, yeah, not all his studs went into his chest. That's right. Only a few of them. Uh, this former Barca Arsenal Man United fan doesn't know football. Diaz should have had at least three goals. Yes, he, sh he should have done. That's at you, Hamza. You did admit you're a Barca fan the other day, didn't you? No, no, I said I supported Barca ahead of Arsenal. Do you want me to support Arsenal? Uh, Barcelona played Arsenal. And, and, and no, I said no. I watched them. And, and when they played each other, no, Arsenal, no, I watched, Barcelona, I watched the clip, Hamza. That's not what you said. But it, said anyway, it, we'll quickly move on. Hamza does anything not to answer the question. Yeah, Hamza and Igao are so funny. They both do that. Um, I swear the amount of waffle um, uh, here is giving man <laughs> diarrhea. Too many City fans at once, Terry. It's not good for my Wi-Fi. Saad just smiling is what Frankie says. Uh, Harland Slander, TH714 himself says only need one. Yeah, no, I, I, but, he get, but he didn't get one. And, and he deserves to be criticised for a poor, it, You could be an amazing player, but when you have a bad game, you can be criticised. It's just normal. No, to be fair, he did have one. It's just that Van Dyke bodied him. That's, that's what happened. Yes. Uh, Is that what we call body these days? Wow, the standards are low. Wow. That's a low standard. I mean, Is that body for Van Dyke? Was he not? Was oh, no, no, no. Nah, nah. Is that what you call body? You see, the standards of defenders has gone so low. Hang on, and this hang on. I would. I would say this. If you limit the best striker in the world, in the most deadliest team in the world, with the best manager in the world, to zero clear-cut chances, and in the one duel they had, you win, 
that is literally the definition of pocketing someone and stopping no, it, someone and dominating yeah, but, them. But, but, but let's let's not put this down. Nah, that was a different body. It didn't body. It didn't body. No, but that's yeah. The, yeah, you know what? You're right. He did down for defense. That's right. You know what? You're right. You know, you're right. Actually, you're right. Actually, he didn't body him. What a hat trick today from Harlan. Do you know what I mean? What a hat trick. I tell. I I'm gonna say. We'll come back to that. There's so many people chats to go to. We just we can't all talk on each point. Sorry, guys. I don't want to be rude. I just want to respect the viewers as best I can. Mm -hmm. uh, Saka Parte Timber didn't play against City. Miss me with this. Rodri didn't play. Rodri got bossed by Hendo. Declan Rice will pocket Hendo and KDB is what Goldie says. Hendo, Hendo. Uh, this super chat says Alvarez should not play uh, as a left winger again. Uh, am I also tired of Edison making such poor decisions in the box? Congrats to Liverpool. Question two. I'm going to V on this question. Do you look more at Ake or more your goalkeeper for the penalty? Ake. No, I look at Ake for that. For the sure. that was a dangerous ball. It was there's no pace on it. it. It brought Nunes into the into the game in terms of challenging it. Um, Ederson had to go strong, so I put that on Ake. Okay. Uh, uh, Elmar here says um, uh, it was a great game. Man City had good chances, but Liverpool missed some great chances as well. Uh, we were the better team today. Anybody who says that, that wasn't a penalty is absolutely delusional. I'm proud of the guys today. Let's go. And look, I'll throw this one to Peterson. You must be proud of what those young players did today, the way they stepped up. And like so many games in recent weeks where they've just they've won you a trophy, they've helped keep you in tournaments. They've been great, haven't they? A hundred percent. You know, when I when I saw the uh the lineup, I was like, damn, no Salah. So no Salah was on the bench. But with the game that Elliot did today, I was 100% satisfied, really happy. And even though when he played on the midfield, perfect. I think for me right now, I think he's a starter. Like even with some of like, even though he's back, I think he's a starter for me. So yeah, 100%. No, I agree. I, I thought it was phenomenal from phenomenal from your kids today. Uh, Hamza would make a great MP because he never answers questions properly. <laughs> Um, I, I wish the rest were as consistent as Terry. Of course. I, I am the epitome of consistency in this YouTube world. To a point now where everyone's copying me bar for bar. Literally what someone's Mac review a video the other day. It was literally like they did. You know, you can take a transcript of someone's YouTube video. It's like they're just reading it out with, with words like scary. Do you know what I mean? It was, it was great to see. I, I love that I influenced so many people. Sarcasm, that is, if anyone takes that seriously. Uh, if... Harlan and KDB don't get goals or assists. There is a major, they're a major hindrance. Players like Foden, Silva, Rodri have to suffer for these bums. Man City started to have more control once KDB came off. Uh, what, what do you make of that, Hamza? This, you know, someone saying that KDB and Harlan hinder your team. That's delusional. Come on, man. This is delu This is what's the problem, Premier League fans. They're so deluded. KDB is one of the greatest players you'll ever see. He's elite. He just came from a major surgery. He's coming back. He's already had more assists than Odegaard and all this Declan Rice and all that stuff. And he's only played for two months. How can you hinder a team? The guy is the face of this Premier League. Without that face, you'd have jokers mm -hmm. around your faces in the Premier League. He's a I top player. For Haaland, there's a reason why we won the treble. You don't win a treble if they hinder your team. Because we've done something major that a lot of clubs like Real Madrid have never even won a treble. In 12 years experience in the Champions League, Haaland and KDB brought us a treble. And Zidane has never won a treble. What an elite. How can I cast Stick this kind it. of players? Oh, guys, calm down, man, when you say such statement like uh. that. So you agree that Skulls is better than Gerard then? Skulls, yeah. Skulls, <laughs> I just mess, just like, I love throwing that one in there. Uh, what uh, probably tilted VAR in that McAllister looks like Doku... Uh, going to clear and doesn't challenge for the ball himself, uh, just gets in the way of the foot. Gets in the way of the foot. To me, Terry, it was 50-50. And if you injure a player playing like that, that's a pen. 50-50, I agree. But if you hit the other player, that's a pen for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, remember Martinelli got sent off for those two blocks uh, on a counter-attack, yet Bernardo Silva doesn't get it today and just uh, gets a book in. Yeah, yeah. Joe you know was really interesting, not just today's game, but over the last few weeks. I've seen, ever since the low was sent off for like two bits of dissent, I've seen nobody even get booked for dissent. It's crazy. I've seen people shouting, hollering, nothing. Uh, very weird. Uh, how is it not off, uh, offside 
for first city got you can't be offside from corners at just 100 b you can't be offside from a corner because the ball's being kicked from the line which means it's impossible it's absolutely impossible to be offside from a corner because the ball is in it's, it's on the line which means it's, it's, it, yeah, it has you, to travel it has, it has to travel you, backwards you uh, i don't know what to say to b yeah, thank you BC, it's not man. big up bc thank you um, Arsenal fans acting and laughing. We see you at the empty head uh, when you get the same robbery. Uh, no shots, no shot. That guy is trying to say Maka was trying to sell it uh, when he could when he took metal studs in the chest. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, losing Gondo uh, and Mares will cost City everything. And it doesn't. I don't think that gets spoken about enough. Is that your summer transfer window really has been horrendous at City? When you look at it, it's you just bought absolute average players into your club at the moment. Absolutely, you bought Wolf players and you bought a, a, a Chelsea player that didn't do anything at Chelsea, really. And Terry, but it's no different than what we've kind of done over the years, right? We've gotten players yeah. from Leicester, we've gotten lit players from Bournemouth. We like that's what we do, but they, but they were good. They thought Ake was good when we got him, yeah, but yeah, but he was good, so it's a good signing. You've signed duds this year, probably yeah. good. Kovacic no, is, is a good player. So, okay, okay, okay. So, is is do you, do you believe he's performing for you at like anywhere near Gundogan level? That would have been impossible to do. We would have had no, to break no, the transfer not, record not, to get like done. for like in terms of quality. Okay, Terry. okay, so like for like. So, if you would have gone out and bought a Kimmich, if you would have gone out and bought a Frankie De Jong, am I naming two really good? Do you not think it's more likely that they would have been performing nearer to the standard of um, Gundogan versus Kovacic? Because they're better yeah, but players, you, possibly, but, but they would have cost more. Yeah, you they would have cost more than Kovacic. But your city, you've been hundred million. Not available. No, 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 no. Don't do that, Terry. Don't do that. You've been a hundred million pound for rice. Let's not pretend like you've got no. You, you bought you bought Gavio for you bought Gavio for how much? And then you're saying that yeah, yeah. Has, so after you has, buy has one player, hold on. you're not going to continue no, no, to spend hundred million hold on, hold on. on another player. Don't, don't you try to spend hundred mil for rice? Don't use money. Don't use money at the next time. Don't use money as an excuse. We're not because... using money. We're no, no, no. Let me, Patrick, Patrick, hold on. Patrick, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now you're saying they're not available. That's not what That's not what Vader said. He first said, oh, like, you know, they'll cost, you have to break the bank. And we're not, we didn't want to do that. That's that's the reason. That's what I'm talking about here. The fact that you were, you paid 80 million for a defender. You offered 100 million for Rice. You're telling me you could not have gone for somebody else. Come on, that's man. cool. Name names. Come on, man. Name names. No, no, name names. No, 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 Terry no, already on, named me. No, no, Frankie De Jong. Frankie De Jong said, Hamza. "I don't want." No, one second. It's just basic. Frankie De Jong said, "I don't want to leave Barcelona." He's on five hundred thousand a week. Amen. Right? City don't break the structure. You said okay. about the only okay. player that I would have gone for. Who, who don't break? Who don't break the structure? We don't. Five hundred, five, six hundred thousand a week for okay. for for Frankie. Well, you're Dion. paying you, you, your wage bill. Let's just not talk nonsense. You, your turnover is over 800 million pounds. Your wage bill is over 460 million pounds. Well, we who are the most year. expensive player that you guys play? You, you don't, don't go websites. City, you pay you much know. more wages. You pay more wages than anybody else in the Premier League. I mean, United, United, when it comes to oh, well, no, it no, says no, United, it says United, 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 it says United, it says United, it's Man United, it's Man United. No, I can, I can, let's have a look. It's United. I can prove, I can prove it to you. Man United spend a lot. Paid most wages than just stop. No, I'll get the facts right now. Okay, the get facts. it. I'll, I'll get. I will get the facts. Right. So right now, Man City in the last year, eight hundred twenty-six million pound of turnover, and fifty-nine percent of your turnover was spent on your wages. So eight hundred twenty-five million minus fifty-nine percent, which means you spent four hundred eighty-seven million pounds on your salaries. We'll click on Manchester United here, uh, and Manchester United, our turnover was seven hundred forty-six million, and we spent fifty-one percent. Of our turnover on salaries, so it's for uh, so three hundred and eighty. You spend a hundred and seven million pound a year more than we do. And do you know where I get those facts from? Your company's trading accounts, your oh, club's trading accounts, not the Sun newspaper. You spend a hundred and seven million pound a year more on salary bonuses, wages than here. Manchester United do. So, st so equally, when it comes to oh, we, we we couldn't buy better in the last ten years. We look at the three best teams in England right now: Arsenal, Liverpool, City. Arsenal have spent £1.3 billion on players. Liverpool have spent £1.2 billion on players. City, £1.9 billion. This, this weird narrative that you three come in here with and be on a regular basis, like, we don't like to spend too much. We don't want big wage bills. It is an absolute fallacy in oh, life. No, Terry, no, it's no. mad. I, if I, one second. If I, I bought BMW and I sell BMW to buy a Mercedes, 
and one other guy doesn't have a BMW, but he goes and borrows money from the bank and goes and buys a Mercedes, you have to look at net spending. You can't net trick spend, the people. Net, net spend. About net net, spend. Hands How up. Spend hands up. Hands up. Don't sell players. Hands yeah. up. I'm, put, I'm muting you a second. I will not discuss net spend because it does not exist and your club doesn't use it. That is a cast iron fact. Your club, no club in the world, uses net spend. How do I know that? Every financial expert, every financial industry that dissects what the clubs do has told us that. This, this, we are not Sky. We are not the Sun. We are not Talk Sport. We are not going to lie to our viewers about how football finance is conducted ever. I'm not doing it. Sorry, Hamza. Let's go to some more super chats anyway. Uh, Liverpool fan here. Uh, as a title contender, we should have finished the job without the need to argue about whether it's a penalty or not. I do agree. Like I think Luis Diaz will get a lot of criticism today, Ram, for th those chances that he missed. 100%. I think I, I touched on it earlier. Um, this is the difference between Luis Diaz and Sadio Mane because Sadio Mane had a similar situation in 2022 and dispatched it away. Um, and it's, it's not, it was two easy chances. One of them is a simple side foot finish. A player of his quality should be putting that away. Um, and the second one just hit it first time. Hit it first time. You don't need to take an extra touch. Yeah. Don't allow Carl Walker with the pace that he has just to get back and, and make that recovery challenge. So, yeah, 100% criticism has got to be given to him because those are two easy chances. I agree. Uh, City pool romance is so cringe. Hope uh, Arsenal spice it up a bit. Eh, it's been a, a bit more needle this week. I did like what Trent and the, the guys got into. I like that. Uh, Patrick, you cannot profess to be a football lover and say McAllister clattered um anywhere else on the pitch that's a foul on a yellow oh wait 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 is that for me yeah you're patrick <laughs> okay look 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 look, look. Let, let me let me say this we're gonna go on back and forth with this look for me as a city fan when i see it as somebody said here 50 50 look when i look at it slowly when i look at the video i was looking at it again here somebody sent me a clip he he's clearing the ball McAllister jumps into him so look it's like they've just come together, but he got he the ball first, and then this, this is why I didn't. This is why I didn't agree with um, Pat, when Patterson said it was 50-50. It was a clear storm on oh. penalty. Anywhere no, on the level, it wasn't. It wasn't. Can I say? Can I say on one thing? Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Can I say one thing? So, when you're playing amateur football, when you're a young kid. What do they always tell you on the football? Never raise Whenever your you're boot. going for a ball, they tell you never put your boot in the air and show your studs. Because whatever happens, if you touch the player in any way, shape, or form, even if the player runs directly into you, you're gonna get done with the foul. Not you're gonna get done with the foul. It doesn't matter if you've if you've not gone and kicked the player and the players run into you, you're gonna get done with the foul. Because why is your foot in the it's, air? It's, it's like this, right? This is, this is how you know. I get where you guys are coming from, but let's just take it away from a high boot. Say me and Patrick both go to win a ball, and Patrick gets there first, and then I, I continue my motion towards the ball, but I am late. But because of Patrick's force, and that's why he got there first, he follows through, studs my shin, and snaps my leg. It's not a case of, well, Patrick didn't break his leg. Terry broke his own leg because he didn't get to the ball quick enough. But it's not how it works. Your challenge was so forceful, it endangered me. Studs in the chest is a foul, in my opinion, whether you get the ball first or not. Um, but that's just me. Oh, this oh, here, saw, uh, this oh, fraud of Haaland has ghosted in every final since he arrived at City. <laughs> ghosted today too. Messi saved us. And what about Andre used to ghost in every final? Why are you getting my? Why are you getting my? Why are you getting well, my? Well, 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 you getting my well, listen, oh, one yeah. second, I've got you. I've got you, sad. This is why I'm saying, um, when Arsenal play Man City, why are Man City so confident? If you look at your top six games this season, what games have you won? It was only the Man United games twice. Why do you get so? Why are you so confident in the Arsenal game? I'm, I'm just because Harlan hasn't been really playing well in big games. Foden. The, I guess my Man United, fair, fair play. But in other games, I'm not going to lie to you. They haven't really been playing well. So why are you guys so confident? Anyone? Wait, are we supposed to answer you? For the yes, kind of yes. Place. Because you have yeah, to it's a question. It's a question. Oh, okay, okay. Look, look. At the end of the day, look, Foden has been bowling this season. I Something that uh, that guy Diaz was missing could only dream of. Let me be honest with you. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, look, look, look I, want to, I want to answer you about the Arsenal thing. 
I am laughing and I love this. I love it that the saying that coming to the edge here. Arsenal fans have been coming in here laughing in the comments, laughing. We're gonna smoke CD. Come, come to the edge and we'll see. Because I remember when uh, when Robbie, respect to him, was making a Martin Luther King speech outside when you guys were also on the high note. You said you're coming to the edge here to smoke us. You're living with something. Then you got smoked. So let's just wait and stop this. Or oh, this will do this. Big will do difference, this. brother. There's a big difference, Patrick. There's What's a big the difference. difference. There's rise. a big difference. And I'll tell you the difference. I will tell you the difference. The difference is last season, we were able to score against teams, but we there was always a chance that the team was going to score against us. There was always a chance in games that a team was going to score against us. Sometimes we'd leave uh, we'd leave um, open gaps wide open for teams to just run into and attack that space and, and score against us. This season, defensively, we have been sharp on point and with that mixed with the amount of counter-attacks you allow teams to have it, it is dangerous for you guys i'm not saying that we're gonna go there and smack you i i listen i'm still waiting to see who's gonna be available for that game before i fully comment on it and i'll get there on the preview but listen don't completely rule us out like as if you're you've been that no, great this season no, I, I you haven't I been don't... that great this season a lot of teams have had counter-attacks against you and if yep. they were clinical you would have lost a few more games than you have, brother. Just you sad, 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 Patrick, Patrick, sorry, sorry, Patrick. Sad does not want to say it with chest. I'll say it with chest. We're smoking you at the there Etihad. Are. We are smoking <laughs> you at the Etihad. <laughs> Clip this, save it. We are smoking you at the Etihad. The way you're playing right now, I respect City. I respect Liverpool. I said this the last time. Phenomenal team. Phenomenal team. But the way you're playing right now, that run of form, oh, we're going to go 15, 15 unbeaten. We've, we've seen the run of form. You struggle to score 1-0 one, one against teams. Teams are scoring against you. I'm not saying that. And if you do that with a team, like, listen, Arsenal last season, honestly, nobody gave us a chance. And I didn't even think we, we, we needed to even be in the running. But we were somehow, some way. This season is different. Defensively, we're on par with Liverpool when it comes to being defensive, if not the most defensive team in the league right now. I mean, seven shots against Arsenal in the last seven games, the last eight games. Seven shots on target in the last eight games with 30 balls. So you're, coming to smoke. you're coming to smoke us at the ATM. So, yes, I'm coming. Look, I, I, Dayong, da oh, okay. record it, said it. Yeah, okay. I, okay. we are coming to smoke you at the ATM. No, we welcome you. We welcome you. We yes, welcome we're coming you. To I like smoke it. You at the I like it, guys. I like it. I'm going to do a few more of these super chats. I've still got a lot to get through, and I want to respect all the audience today. Theo here says Hamza said Haaland was there to hold the ball. Find any excuse you want, bro. He had less touches than Salah, who came on in the 60th minute. I admit Diaz was wasteful, but he was cooking your defense all Yo. day. And that's what we Very talk about, Terry. I'm, I'm, I've known you for almost coming up to four years. And we talk about you could have all the skills, you could have all the dribbles. But at the end of the day, all that matters is the output. And this game showed it today because it, Diaz, it, yeah. apart from the finishes, was incredible, like tearing them a new one. But Everything you else got to was brilliant. finish your chances. Everything else was brilliant. Yeah. You know, I, I hear you. I, I completely hear you. Uh, that's why I don't like most City fans. This guy is a fraud. Get him off. Well, I'm not going to kick anybody off the terrace, but thank you for the super <laughs> channel. That, that's not our idea. Wait, $50 super channel. Who, who's a fraud? There's, 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 you, a, price, there's a price for What's, everyone. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, if you, if you, yeah, if you, yeah uh, no, no, more than 50, Hamza's is worth more than 50. Uh, 250, and I'll split it with Hamza, but we'll kick him off. That's what we'll do. There we go. <laughs> I'll pay him as well. Uh, man oh, said uh, they are not allowed to touch anyone that, like Doku didn't become Shawn Michaels. I love that. If you don't watch old school, proper wrestling when it was good. Uh, Robert here says, Bra, Hamza, you're spitting, uh, and I can and I can see some drops of your shiny ball ah. head. Um, uh, it's a penalty and a yellow card. Liverpool played ultra well. Uh, not a pen, uh, but not a pen. Uh, but the ref would have given that for City, is what uh, this Arsenal fan thinks here. Uh, VAR only overturns clear and obvious errors, and Doku did tuck the ball. Blame the ref. VAR confirmed the pen of the. Yeah, listen, I, I think it's both. I, I get it, but it still should have been a pen. I agree. Uh, Man City will use this pen decision to deflect that they were mediocre on the day. Yeah, they were, and they have been deflected. These City fans have. Oh my God, the deflection is like watching. You know when you play pinball. It's been like pinball today. You've been trying to stick him down to an opinion here. Uh, tell him about the high boot rule. Any player who raises their boot above waist is dangerous play. Mike Dean just said, exactly. It, it's just the law of the game. And you can't argue against the law because raising your boot, unless a player stoops his head down to waist level, 
it's not a subjective law, it's objective. So you can't argue against objectivity in that regard, I don't think. But there we go. Anyway, I'm just a hater, aren't I? Uh, another massive game, another ghost performance from Harlan and Foden. No pen, come on you gooners, is what Martin says here. Uh, I don't know what these City fans are smoking. Some uh, people can shit on Diaz as much as they want. Luis Diaz was running circles around your back line like he was playing with the kindergarten uh, uh, kids, bro. Just funny. When I was a kid, I thought it was kindergarten, not garden. But there we go. Because uh, stupid, wasn't it? Um, Staffy's here. What are you saying, brother? Listen, I'm I was doing my groceries, my listening to what you say? Um, right. I'm intrigued at what you're going to say, my bro. I feel like, Rem, every time I'm here, you're on my neck first thing. Like, I don't even get to speak before you say something to me. Relax, <laughs> relax. I come in peace with life. Look at Samuel. On, I'm land. Go Samuel, on, go on, land. Samuel go looks on, happy and he's smiling. And I'm happy to see my brother smiling here. But I'm coming <laughs> for the Blue Brothers here. Listen, I was listening to you guys uh, on the way back from from uh, from my grocery shopping. Ramadan Mubarak to everyone. I had to get last minute shopping. So Ramadan Mubarak to everyone celebrating. But I just, my, my city brothers were struggling, bro. They were struggling. I mean, my brother Vader, big up my brother Vader. I'll see him tomorrow in American Waffle. But my brother was, I've never seen Vader so cornered and not able to give real answers. Hamza is being Hamza, obviously. Patrick is being Patrick. So I'm not really surprised by how they uh, articulate themselves. They, they, I just know them for being that. But I felt bad for Vader. I've listened to you guys. How long have you been live, Terry? An hour and 20 minutes. Let's say you do your 20 minute, 20 minute intro. So you've been, the panel's been on for an hour. I have not heard anything about why De Bruyne was struggling, why Haaland was struggling, why the, the midfield looked bad. There's so many tactical issues that this team had and zero of these issues have been addressed. They're sitting here flip-flopping about a penalty, which by the way, let me tell you something. 11 years ago, Sir Alex lost his last Champions League campaign to a high boot into the chest of Arbeloa from Luis Nani when he got a red card. That wasn't even a challenge. He was just trying to receive the ball. And he got a red for that. 11 years later, people were saying the guy ran into his studs. Well, let, give me a time machine so I can go back to 2013 where we got that red card. Because maybe, maybe, maybe if we beat Madrid, we could have potentially won another Champions League. So the, the fact that you guys are sitting here saying he went with his chest to his studs instead of studs to chest is probably the most shameless thing I've ever heard. The, 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 Terry, there used to be a joke in Egypt growing up when you slap someone to be like, yeah, he touched my hand with his cheek. So you could say like, oh, like I didn't slap him. He just put his face on my hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. He ran into my I boot. At school once, I said to my head teacher, I didn't punch Jason. Jason head butted my hand. He, he just, he ran into my hand. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's actually insane that they're saying this. Because any challenge on the pitch, whether you're trying to win the ball or tackle, the two things that are always uh, taken into consideration is if you're in control and if you're endangering the opponent. Anytime you go studs up, especially with a high boot, you're at risk of endangering your opponent. So whether you win the ball or not, you have put the, the player at risk. So for, for that, you need to be penalized. Whether it's a foul, a yellow, or a red, obviously that's a little bit subjective because it depends on how bad it is. Like a few years ago when Edison got a red for, for high-booting uh, uh, Mani in the face, how different was it? It was pretty similar. So Stuffy, that's why I said um, uh, I said at most there was a yellow and a penalty. It but has to I be, bro, even correct. if he doesn't give him a yellow okay, because let, he let, wasn't intending, let, let, it's 100% penalty. I'm yeah. just reading what the professionals have said. This is not a penalty. Jamie Carragher's come out there. Yeah? Said so now you rate Jamie Carragher. Jamie, no, Jamie, no, Jamie who? Jamie who? Jamie who? Jamie who? Jamie who? He's a little player. mute. Thumbs up mute. Jamie Carragher. Jamie Carragher. Jamie Carragher. Ex player, he said, I understand why this was not given as a penalty. He got the ball. But you know what? Doc was naive. It wasn't a penalty. The other thing about you said about Kevin De Bruyne being poor. Kevin De Bruyne has assisted in seven goals. I don't care about that. I heard you one, say one, that one, already. One second, you already said that. Hamza. One second. One second. Hamza, you already spoke. Kevin De Bruyne has assisted in seven goals against Liverpool. Do you know only that one player that's ever done it more no, than him? No one answered. One second. Like do you know? Do you know any other player who's had more assists than him? No one cares. Liverpool? No one cares. You know? You you don't, don't know. Exactly. Because, you don't know. Okay. Ryan Giggs, who played here for fifteen years. No one cares. Why are we talking about Giggs? I don't care about Giggs. One more assist. Let me tell you another statistic. You said Kevin De Bruyne had a poor game. God, bro. Kevin De Bruyne, not only Andy Cole and, and Ryan Giggs have assisted or scored against Liverpool, Kevin De Bruyne has scored four and has had seven assists. Ryan Giggs had 12. How many of them were today? 
How Gio many of them were today? today man. How many of them were today? Have some shame when you come here. I have some have, shame. Have some you are talking to me. You, you, are, some you know what, Hamza? You know what you taught me today? Hamza, let me tell you. Really, most assists compared to your guy. Hamza, Allah, you got to let me speak, Hamza. You've been here for an hour. You got to let me speak. This let, is a fact. Let me, just let me it's speak. Like okay. No, no, fact. these are facts that are not related. If I tell you right now a fact that water is wet, it has nothing to do with this, this, this stream that we're having right now. You're talking to me about assists that happened over the years. You're not talking about right now. You're telling me facts that yes, are useless, today. bro. He assisted today. I'm saying, just let me speak, please. Just let me let me speak. No, no, assisted, was assisted. it the corner? Was it the corner? Yeah, a corner. He assisted. Okay, okay. Is that a clever I corner? Wanna... When okay. Trent it, it, that it, corner, I think it was a good corner. Called yes, clever it was a good corner. Well, you gotta let me speak, Hamza. Hamza, please him talk. Let me let me speak. What I'm talking about, De Bruyne, is not because I'm talking about just GA. Everyone knows me here. I, I did the same thing yesterday for the United game where I told Terry, I don't use G GA to blind me of the performances that I see on the pitch. De Bruyne, two games in a row, has looked poor. He looked poor against United, and he looked poor today against Liverpool. And if you are trying to pretend that he is not looking bad and your midfield is not looking as good as it was years ago, then you're just lying to yourself. Because you're bringing up stats that are not related to today's game. Obviously, I'm not saying De Bruyne has always been a shit player. That's not what anyone's saying. We're talking about this current team right now. Your midfield has been struggling. It's so, it, 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 De Bruyne struggled against United, and he struggled today against Liverpool. Liverpool, who don't have a good system of play like you guys do, because they're not as a robotic team as you, they were able today to go into the occasion and clog up that midfield. McAllister and Endo clogged up that midfield so much that you guys couldn't con get control of the game. What is the proof, Hamza, that he brought on Kovacic in the second half? Why does he bring on Kovacic? Kovacic is not a game changer, and Kovacic is not a guy that scores late for you. But what does Kovacic do? Kovacic controls games. He had to bring on a controller to gain to regain a little bit of that midfield because he knew Liverpool, especially in the beginning of that second half, were all over you guys. That is a fact, Hamza. I don't need no, statistics no. to back that. I don't need anything. Everyone watched no, the game. No. Everyone can see. I, I can watch a game and tell you why the substitutions are being made. If that wasn't a fact, then he would have never brought on Kovacic. That's uh, number one. Number num number two, Hamza. Number two. Holland. I said it last game. I hated Amrabat at Casemiro because they gave him an undeserved goal. The guy ghosted for 90 minutes against Varane and Evans and got a goal because Amrabat passed him the ball. Today, the same thing. He did it again. Terry asked you about him earlier, and he said he won us the treble. Once again, it has nothing to do with these games because the treble is not going to bail him. Didn't bail him out last game. Didn't bail him out today. And it won't bail you out when Arsenal come there because the two best defensive teams right now are Liverpool and uh, and uh, sorry and uh, and Arsenal. They didn't even play Konate. It was Kwanzaa, a 19 or a 20-year-old. I don't know how he is. He's a young player. He was not involved in the game. The reason he doesn't have a lot of touches is because you guys couldn't cre create for him. Why couldn't you create for him? Because your midfield is struggling. The reason why my brother up here, what's his name? Dayo, first time meeting you, big up yourself. The reason why he's talking with chest, even though I think he's a little bit overboard and that's his right, he wants to support his team. The reason he's talking with chest is because he sees that you guys are struggling game in, game out with your midfield. And I said this, by the way, Hamza, to make fun of my team. And Terry, you'll remember this. I said on straight facts. I said, wait for City to pull up to United. And they're going to finally have a good game because I, we, we're the only team that allows our opponent to have the ball too much and create too many chances. Mm -hmm. You had one goal against Brentford, one goal against Chelsea, one goal against, fuck, who did you guys play right before us? Uh, there was a one, game that you won 1-0. So you went Brentford. three games. Brentford. 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 No, no, that was 3-1. Bournemouth, Bournemouth, sorry. Bournemouth. 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 Yeah. Bournemouth. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Brentford, Bournemouth, Chelsea, one goal each. You go to United, Eric Ten Hag. Another was not the sackable offense. Yeah, the yeah, only yeah, one who made him look good. That's that's beyond the point. And then you go again to Liverpool, who have a lot of injuries, and you manage to only score one goal of a set piece. Hamza, these are all facts that tell you that you are not the same team as the trouble team. You're not the same team as what you used to be. If you don't want to be worried, Hamza, that is fine with me because I don't even want you to win the league. I want you to delude yourself to think that your team can absolutely smash everyone in the next ten games and win the league. Go I totally ahead, agree. Ahead. I totally agree with you, Staffy, 100%. In the sense of City is still one of the best teams in the world without a shadow of a doubt. And I've been saying it for weeks, right? And sometimes I ask questions and I'm waiting for replies on this as opposed to always talking, which I do a lot on my own channel, of course. This City team leaks opportunities. Now, it's just the way our high line plays. Your line's at the same height. Look at the stats as it was last year. Is that you're losing control in the midfield, so the high line is being exposed. You're not as good as you were last year. And some of that is down to poor purchases in the summer. And uh, you could argue it's a number of things. It could just be a little bit of appetite has gone as an example uh, from players after winning a treble, which 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 players have done it 
And then years later, speak about it, say, you know, you know, sometimes when you win so much, you can become a little bloated and a bit complacent. And I think the way C- V and the Uhams are both said this on a stream a few, few about a week ago, we won't concede opportunities against the better teams. We only do it with United and Copenhagen because we don't respect you and we open up. And I just think this is the genuinely is delusion. You know, you're, we're not saying you're a bad team. We are nitpicking because you and Arsenal, Liverpool are the best in England. You're in a title race, but it's going to be those little nitpicks which you can decide who wins and who loses the Premier League. And we're here to talk about it. And I, I will agree with Staffy. You City fans, I've never seen it done before in this show ever. The volume of deflection at every question about Haaland, about KDB, about your players. The fact that you guys sat here and said, yeah, we just don't like to spend too much money. Uh, that's why, you know, it's, it's normally we don't spend too much money and we buy lesser players and it normally works. It's just absolute nonsense. You bought the first £100 million player. It's crazy to me. So no, I, I totally hear. And Hamza, have you got anything to say to what Safi has said? I think it's delusional. This is the problem about Premier League. I'll tell you one thing about something that you said, hungry, that we've lost the hunger. It's shameful when I've said one thing that I'm so amazed by Pep. Like, how do you keep that motivation? I've seen... Man United, they win the treble on the first year. Yeah, because you're motivated to win. You don't do it in your third year. You should not be motivated. That disproves your argument. The fact that they win titles three in a row. But when we you won, think... We won two leagues yeah, after No, 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 one treble, second, one second. You, 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 but you, you lied. Won. We won the league like, twice you, after we won, won the treble. Why would you lie? treble in your first season. After that, you started faltering. City only gets stronger. They deliver no, on big not, occasions. That's a fallacy. When big that's moments, right they there. deliver it. How can, how can I see when Pep is delivering a treble in his third season? The same of group of players who are there for three years are winning. They're getting better. They're just getting better. Okay, they've lost players. You're right. They've lost players who are crucial. And the biggest mistake, we could have recruited that extra bit. That if you lose, you, you, you're losing someone like Gandawan, you get Barella. You go on. Go to Inter Milan, they've reached the Champions League. You go and get their guy. I understand that, Terry. But how shameful of the Premier League. How shameful that it's their fourth season. Their fourth season. They're chasing the guys who are hungry. Some of them have not won the league for 20 years. Their football club is probably dismantled. They're probably, they've changed stadium. Kids have grown up, gone to uni. Some have started work. I've seen their football club never won the league. They're confused. And they're oh, well, hang on a minute. Hamza, I do love you, bro. Like Hamza, Hamza, Hamza. That's what I'm I, I love you, bro, but I'm going to stop you. None of that has got anything to do with why are these things happening to you right now? No. You're just deflecting. No, Answer I, the question. Yes. Let's just say you're right. Let's just agree to... You're, you're just as hungry. You're just as good. You're just as amazing. Why are you leaking so many opportunities? Today, and why is... Let me answer my question. Why are you leaking so many opportunities in multiple games? And why is your midfield struggling to control games? Tell us why that is. is pro- yeah, that's a good question. And today, I believe... I, I said believe, like an hour ago. I know once I Pep, <laughs> oh, Pep no. got it wrong in one thing, because I predicted this formation. Against Arsenal, against Liverpool, you have to play a double pivot midfielders. You have. To, so I didn't think Alvarez should have started. I was surprised when I saw Alvarez started. I said, Bernardo, KD, Stones and Rodri. Gordon, and then play Kovacic and Rodri. That's the midfield. I, that's the squad I wanted. But he played Alvarez to try and take that chance of scoring goals against Liverpool and punishing them. I believe he should have played. But he saw that. He saw that because every attack was coming from that side, Terry. Did you not mm. see? Every I, I attack. Because Alvarez wasn't tracking back. Yeah? And Doku doesn't track back as well. That's the only Hamza, Hamza, can I ask you a question? I will tell you. We should have had that. Hamza, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Pep has not played a double pivot because Kovacic has been injured for a long time. He keeps getting injured, comes back, gets injured. So Rodri plays solely as a midfielder, as a six and as an eight. It doesn't happen in other teams. Yeah. So in next, when we're playing Arsenal, I want that double pivot. And unfortunately, we've lost that Gundogan, that double pivot that was helping uh, Rodri. And we've not that because how is the double wrong. pivot going to help you? Like, with, with, can, with you the you, 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 play, you play Stones as an inverted fullback. And he's that's that's number one. Yeah, it's it's, it's an illusion what you're saying. Because that's but what I have, I have no a, sense. I have a question for you, Hamza. I have a question for you, Hamza. City team of last season, the exact squad of last season, and the, the City team now with the people that have left, Gundogan, you know, Mares, everybody. City team of last season and this season, if they go head to head, who would win? How Which of the teams would win? Now, I'm saying let's let's just say we had let's just say hypothetically we were able to duplicate City team of last season as team A 
and then this season with the new people you have and they play against themselves, where would you rate both teams? Who do you think would win? Obviously, you'd rate the team that's won the co- the treble as the greatest good. team. Uh, good, 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 good. So, no, so, pause. You've answered the question, which simply means that your last season's team is better than this team. You've admitted to that but by in what saying, way? Was, what, no, no, no. I'm, 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 I said, I, I said, you, losing Gunduan, losing Marez, losing all the people that you lost, and getting the people you got this season. Look at your squad from last season versus your squad from this season. If they played head to head and you had to sub player and you both had Pep still, which team do you think would win? Your last season squad yeah, that's, or this great, season? That's a great Good. So last season's team, team hold on. So th- that means you're admitting that this season's squad is not as good as last season's squad. So when we're pointing out little things like, oh, the reason why you're leaking goals is because you're not as good as you used to be, not because you're terrible now, but because you are not last season's squad. You cannot come here and waffle and tell us with our two eyes that we can see the facts that look, the reason I'm saying it with chest that when Arsenal comes to Etihad, we are going to thump you. Whether it is 1 0, 2 0, 3 1, clip whatever. That, we are clip that. Clip listen, this clip it. Clip I am, this quote. Listen, call clip it a fraud. Call. This, is, this will keep go international. Clip it. Listen, say listen, it again. Keep, saying, say again. Keep, saying, keep saying fraud or no fraud. The way you are playing right now, the way City is performing right now, mm. the levels at which you are playing, unless by some miracle you guys decide that overnight something happens, the way you're playing, the squad that you have, if you play against any other, t- like if it was last year's squad, I would never say this. But Dio. the way you're playing right now, you, 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 you yeah, people the, score against I, I hear, you. I, I hear what you're saying there. Just, call, just, just, you guys, we'll, we'll leave that. We'll leave that debate there for a moment. Just in interest of time, uh, got a lot of super chats to get through. Uh, please, someone mute the raging light bulb in blue. Uh, <laughs> I work for a uh, psych hospital. We have an extra bed for delusional Hamza. That's not very nice. Uh, as a neutral, these refs and VAR are clearly match fixing. How can fans not protest? Uh, the, the, it's crazy. Uh, but I just actually read the high boot law or the sort of section on it. Just there's nothing. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Hamza, does it physically cause pain or do you lose money if you give another team credit or admit City did not play well? Pretty one, uh, pretty even uh, one half and dominated the second. True. I think it just hurts. Uh, when City fans uh, are on the show, uh, should be called the Waffle Show. Liverpool were the better team today. A good draw for Arsenal. Uh, Drew gets yeah, 30 plus goals in this City team. He, he potentially could. Uh, net spend is a myth. It's all about gross spend, and, and it, of course, it's a myth. it's 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 used by the media, and it's used to sort of it, it, it's it's gaslighting. Really, it's not how football clubs operate and work, uh, and we shouldn't use it at all. I uh, give you an example. The best example, if anyone wants to know, is Mbappe. On terms of net spend, is going to cost Real Madrid zero in the sure. summer. Sure. But in fact, he's going to cost the club over two hundred million pound. Sure. So that proves net spend is bullshit. Hamza is deluded, argues like a twelve-year-old, and brings down the level of conversation. Otherwise, a great panel, absolute walad. <laughs> uh, City fans talking with chest about referees favouring Liverpool. Your club own uh, owners pay uh, for them to work for the other side. Ask any top six club who gets the most decisions. Our City definitely benefit the most in, in recent times. Uh, if refs uh, were as good. Uh, at their jobs as City fans on this panel uh, at being delusional and deflecting. Nobody would have anything to complain about. Uh, McAllister decided to run uh, into the challenge with his body first because you're allowed to win the ball with your chest, though, bruv. You're allowed to win the ball with your chest. And I'm going to read... I'm gonna, I'm, I don't weren't going to, but I'm going to read it now. Um, the high boot law refers to a rule regarding the height in which a player can lift their leg. There are multiple. There are various elements to the interpretation, but it's there to prevent dangerous play. According to the law of the game, a player uh, can be penalised for a high boot uh, if they lift their foot in a manner which can endanger the opponent and make contact with their stomach, chest, shoulders, arms, head, or face during a challenge. However, it's important to note that raising your foot isn't automatically considered a foul. If a player executes a high kick or challenge in a controlled manner without any endangerment, uh, any without endangering the opponent, it may not be penalized. Referees have to judge this. In summary, a high boot law uh, in football is aimed to protect players from dangerous challenges and is enforced to ensure safety of all participants at all time. So the fact that it may contact with him afterwards, it means it can't be safe. It's just that that last bit you mentioned. I think they're referring to overhead kicks. Because that's why you normally yeah, use when you use overhead yeah, kicks. Yeah, no, I get it. And again, if if Doku does that, and 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 
McAllister pulls away or doesn't fancy it, then again, he hasn't actually endangered him because it, it, it's just, yeah, it's crazy to me that people are, are saying he ran into his foot. Where was world-class Foden? Was world-class Foden on the pitch? If so, what did world-class Foden do today? World-class <laughs> Foden fouled to world-class. Can I touch on this theory? Can, yeah, on, can you put that super chat? This is the point of me coming out here and talking about these things. Not this super chat, the one before. The one I, I, I unstarted. I don't know oh, it's, it okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The reason I'm, I'm highlighting this stuff is because this midfield continues to struggle. By the way, Hamza absolutely waffled when he said, I want a double pivot. It shows you that Hamza actually doesn't understand what he's talking about. City don't play four in the back. They play three in the back. Stones on paper starts as a center back. He's always the double pivot. There's always a double pivot with Rodri. When you create a double pivot and you invert someone in the midfield, it makes something. It's called a box midfield. A, mod, a box midfield is when you invert someone into a double pivot and you already have your two eights. We always know that one of the eights is De Bruyne, and the other eight depends on who's playing on the on, on the day. Usually De Bruyne Silva. always plays a little bit on, on the right. Usually Silva or Kovacic or whoever. Foden sticks on the wing every game. He loves to stick him on the wing. He lacks creativity in the midfield, but he refuses to put Foden there. What does he do? He keeps putting Alvarez in central positions. I think today he did play on the left, but you get the point. He's not relying on Foden and what Foden is good at. Foden is good at creating in tight spaces, in his ball control, in tight spaces, and he's good in the final third. Pep refuses to play him in that position. This is why De Bruyne looks bad, because no one else in that midfield is creating something. So instead of Hamza asking for a double pivot, which already exists, he should be, he should be requesting another creative midfielder in that midfield next to De Bruyne. So when right. De Bruyne is running on the right uh, 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 right, right uh, center mid, Foden should be the left center mid. <clears throat> I to totally agree. Uh, hey, Terry, been here a while. Just uh, just saying great channel, unbiased stuff. Love it. And of course, come on, you gooners. Thank you very much. Uh, Terry, uh, can't believe I forgot about the offside corner. Never thought. <laughs> it's all right, my friend. Listen, I, 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 I get it. We all, we all sometimes have th those moments. Uh, Terry, why are you always nitpicking when it comes when when it's when it's Arsenal, you don't. But that isn't true. I do nitpick against Arsenal. You just don't hear it because you're so angry and fearful of them. When I speak about them not knowing how to get over the line yet because they haven't got over the line, when they have a lack of experience, when I've criticised poor finishing in, in, in other games, when I've criticised substitutions that the manager has made, I've criticised Arsenal on so many occasions, but you just don't want to hear it. You, 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 you paper over that. Um, and the fact that I've... Still got Liverpool as the marginal favourites. Demonstrates that I nitpick against Arsenal as well. Uh, if Liverpool get uh, got lucky mistakes go their way, then why sub KDB off for Kovacic? Their midfield got overrun and Liverpool should have won defo penalty. That's what I said. Totally, totally agree. Uh, as a City fan, I agree that the Doku incident was a penalty. Fair play to you, cool guy. He says, I feel Alvarez had a poor game and should have been taken off earlier for Oscar instead of Doku. Yeah, I, listen, I, I think that's very fair. It's a foul. De Jong versus Xavi should have been a red card. Most refs swallow, uh, swallow their uh, cards during big games. By the way, Nani had a red after the ball. Um, inconsistent. I agree. Uh, the Arsenal fan on the panel does not represent us. We have not won at City for years, and we want to show chest calm it down we might be top but we are humble they're vulnerable that's it okay so hold on so i can't let this this is what i don't understand about people me saying we're going to beat them does not mean i'm not being humble i am talking about at this point yep. in form it look i understand that it could be at etihad it could be at when when they came to um um the emirates everybody said they were going to thump us when liverpool was coming people were saying liverpool was going to thump us and, I was, and even at that point, we were not in the form that we are in right now. Beating Brentford 2-1, the way we had to come about and beat Brentford, shows that we can win games in different ways. We can either run over teams that need to be run over or play the tough game and eventually, you know, fight, figure a way out. Because when, 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 when Liverpool beat uh, Nottingham Forest by one goal to zero in the last minute, everybody said sign of champions. Liverpool are showing grit. When Arsenal does it against Brentford, oh, Brentford messed up. Uh, Brentford should have held that draw. Like, as if, no. Look, I, as an Arsenal fan, I will say this again. I've watched my team be rubbish for years, and I've watched them come up again now. And I can say that the state that we're in right now, we're in a good place. I am not going to look to look at my team through the PTSD lens of how we used to be. I'm going to look at them for what they are now and where I hope they're going to be. So with chest, I say it again. I say it for myself. I we go you. to Etihad and we beat them. 
Uh, Twinny here says, Arsenal fan, so a draw was lovely for me, but Doku might as well have shouted, this is Sparta with that kick, saying it wasn't a pen is insanity. Uh, a slip is much less to do with pressure than being pressed and making a bad pass. Both City and Paul got the most decisions going their way. Oh, there, that's what I said to V earlier. Like I said, I think, yeah, the, the different scenarios, but the, the amount are the same thing. I just don't like it when fans... Me and, me and Igao had this argument years ago. Whenever a, a team that Arsenal were playing made a mistake, he wouldn't call it a mistake. He said we pressured them into it. Whenever they conceded through mistakes, he said the other team got lucky. And I just, I don't like that energy. Especially. Hamza is the definition of bias. Could have sent off, sent him off in a stretcher with the ball uh, on the other side of the pitch. And he would have said no foul. No foul. Of course he would. He just, City fans are hurt today because I think they honestly felt they were going to go there and smoke this young depleted Liverpool team. Look, I want to thank everyone who's tuned in today. It's been an epic show, an hour and 45 minutes. I didn't expect that. So many super chats, so many people have hit the like button. Thank you. Go and check out my new channel, The Squad. I cannot wait um, for the content we're going to make over there. To all of my panel today, you've been absolutely phenomenal. This stream is going to take you through to the Top 6 show, which is out tomorrow uh, at uh, 5 p.m., so make sure you're all there for it. It's going to be an epic show uh, as we uh, as we review the weekend, build up to the Chelsea game and Champions League. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Peace.